Guys, welcome back. Now we can continue making our character. We have a little red box which is cute, but why not have our own character on the screen? I'm sure which would look much better. Uh, so first we need some character images. I made some little pixel art using templates on internet I called it character zero for now and it's in my assets folder now I will add this to my game on my main.py file after defining my movements I will make a new variable called player image which already auto completed but this is not my file location I will just say copy relative path and go back and paste instead of this play.png as you can see I copy its relative path and paste it here. So it's in my assets folder in character zero file and it is zero.png. So now I have my player image. Let's call it on character class. We will have character and when we initialize we will have self x y and we will have an image now. And let's declare it self that image is equals to image. When we draw our rectangle to the screen, now we also want to draw our image so it automatically shows already on the screen we will use blit function and we will give it self.image and self.rect now let's see how it looks um, there was a problem so I will have the full directory make sure there's no mistakes and let's do it again okay so I'm having direct issues I will just change this with backslash I hope this will fix it oh okay now we have another problem but this is a simple problem that I cause because when we call a character now we also need to, to give it location and an image player image now let's do it again okay I have my window and I have my rectangle but there's no player there's an easy reason for this because when we draw the rectangle we didn't give it a border So let's add one here. So this will make us this will make the wall thickness of one which will look hollow in the rectangle. And now when we play the game and call the window, now we can see our little character in hollow red rectangle box which is nice but it's too small and we can scale this up to scale why not have a scale constant that we can 
change later if you want to. To scale the character after saying player image, it already shows what it suggests, which is almost similar, but unfortunately it's not this easy. Of course we will have player image. We will have and we will need to give it a coordinate and not coordinate actually we will give it width and height of our image so we will say player image dot get width we will get our width and we will multiply by scale which is in the constants and again we will have our height and we will multiply by scale we can write like this or we can have a um, scale function to make things easier which we can just define it by scale image which we will give image and it will just return the image, it will get the image width and height and it will scale it up. So this is a valid line but to make things easier and more doable in the future I will just say scale image, play image and scale. And as you can see now we have our scaled image. The box is not in the correct position but we will fix it later. It's nice that we have our character now, we can see on the screen, but it always faces right and when you go left, it's not visually appealing, it just goes back, so let's fix it, it will be kind of simple. Uh, so when we go to left side, we want the image to look on the left, so we will basically flip the character. And for this, we can have a new variable called flip. If we want to flip the image or not, we will call it false at the beginning. And when we are flipping the image, we will have a new image called flipped image and it's already auto filling for us. Flipped image will be using Pygame transform and flip. So flip has three inputs. First we will give it the image we have we will we want to use and there's two bulls. The first pull is for image to like mirror right to left and second bull is for image in the y axis which is upside down. We want it to be in the middle position so we will only fill the first bull and we will fill it self dot flip which is false as default and after this we need to blit our character to the screen and instead of this line now we have this flipped image so and now this is at false and we need a way to check if it needs to flip or not, which is quite simple. We already have our delta x which tells us if we go right or left. And so before these we can check for if our delta x less than zero which will make this this which will mean our character goes to the left side. 
So when it goes to the left side, we will need to flip the image. If delta x is larger than zero, which was the right side, then we don't need to flip the image. Let's see if it's working. Here's our window, I press right, I press left. Now our character is flipping and it's already looking better and cuter. Now we have our character that can turn right and left. Why not have an animation? As you can see in my assets folder, there's four images for character zero. You cannot see in this, but they are coming after each other. I will show you in a separate, which is free. I found some images online and I made some modifications, changed the colors and there's a simple animation made of four, fra four frames as you can see. Now let's add this to our game so it can look nicer when our characters walk. So. For this, we will go to our main folder and instead of the images that we give it only one to our player as player image, we will have them a list. We can call it animated player images which we will give it we will have a for loop which will be i in range of 4 because we have 4 images that we want to use one by one so we, I will just cut it and paste it here which we will which we want to have our in animated player images list the problem here that when we load the player image we load only one so we want this to change in python there's an f we can put there and when there's a f at the beginning you can just put i as your data which there was 0, now there will be 0, 1, 2 and 3 because it's a range of 4 this is python's string f function that you can use and when after we have our character zero images one by one zero one two and three we will scale them and we want to save them in our animated player images list which we will append player image one by one and now that we have our animated player images, we will need to change what our character gets as a data which still gets player image which is not correct, we want it to get the list of the animated player images so I just change it here that our character will be getting animated player images but there was a problem now it was a player image, a single file, now it is a list so we will be needing to fix our character class we will in the const construct part we will have image but let's be more clear and say it was animated player images and self that image will be coming from animated player image and it will be the first one so I will call it number zero for now, let's see if everything is still working. Yes, we still have our character that flips, turns right and left. Looks nice. 
we still don't have the animation but at least we can get the files and do the animation in a minute okay now we have our character gets list of animated player images we can start making the animation display on the window so now let's first start by declaring animated player images equals to animated player images I forgot this previously and now we will have frame index so we can have frame by frame the animations and we will also need time so we will know when we need to update the frame which is nice now as you can see we were having the image as animated player images zero but now we don't need the zero we can just say frame index so the image can change by time but of course we save that frame index okay now we are getting the animated player images list we have a frame index that we will update the time and the image will be changing to the current index For now we need a function to make it work let's define a function it will be called update and <laughs> we can already see all the basics we will need but I want to start by having animation cooldown which can be 100 for now we will check we will have a variable called now which will get the tick to help us get the frame time and if now is less than update time now minus update time is bigger than animation cooldown in that case we will update time to now we will change our frame Up, we updated time to now we change our frame to plus one so the next frame we will check if the frame index is in the range of animated player images as you know we only have four images so we are getting we are using length function to get the length of our animated player images list and if it's out of the index we will just make it zero also now our image will be changing to the animated player images frame index we are changing our image into a let's see if it will work spoiler alert of course it's not working because we did not call the update function in our game loop so we can call it after the move which will update our character let's see now, now it's working and as you can see our character has standing animation just right there there's no running animation yet it just waits for something and we will have running animation soon this was all for this part we will continue later I will upload the files to github and see you